Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome. Welcome if you're also spying on a Libra. This is your May love reading. So we're going to look at um, the past and how it's affecting your present and your future. Um, why you want what you want right now, what you actually need right now, what can you expect in love in general this month. Um, factors that are kind of going to influence your love life this month, other people's perception of you. Um, what can get in the way of love this month for you, the best course of action or advice for you in regards to love, what happens if you follow it, what happens if you don't. We're going to do this for both singles and couples. Let's get started. singles. What's gone on in the past that's kind of affecting your current wishes in regards to love? Well, you weren't always assertive, okay? You weren't always super direct about what it was that you wanted and you just put like a lot of work into a relationship, maybe one where your needs weren't being met, where you weren't like, hey, this is what I need. Hey, you know, I need this. I need this or else. Um, and you just worked hard. Like you did the work for both people in a relationship, okay? You were too giving. You gave too much and um, you wanted balance because you're a Libra and also because in general you're a human being who deserves to get back, you know, what you put out there. Um, but so now, because that was your past, moving into the present and the future, um, that will be something to keep in mind when you're thinking about or trying to assert to the universe what it is that you desire, okay? So why is it that you want what you want right now? And they're like, because you need to have fun, because you need to have this like hope, this enthusiasm, this joy, anything is possible, but fun is really kind of the theme of the month for you. This month, you need to be in a relationship that is just easier, that is more joyful, where it doesn't feel like a chore. Okay, um, what can you expect in regards to love this month generally? And they're saying, um, unfortunately, you might be meeting some people who don't want the same things that you do. Okay, so if you are kind of like in this zone where you just like want to have a good time and not be committed, you might be attracting people who want like serious long term relationships or vice versa. So this is why they're talking about the past and they're saying, you know what, you've made these mistakes before where you weren't super assertive. Going forward, you want to be super assertive so that you don't accidentally end up with the wrong kind of a person. Okay, now factors that are influencing your love life in May are the past disappointments, okay? And this is also um, other people interfering in relationships. So if you're newly single, it could be because you cheated or a partner cheated. It could just be like, you know, maybe your ex-mother-in-law was too much in your hair all the time, that kind of a thing. It seems like other people were impacting your previous relationships in a negative way. Now, if you've been single for a while, it's more about disappointment. It's more about, you know, trying to go out there and find love and coming up empty handed or, you know, matching up with people, like I said, who don't necessarily want the same things as you. How are other people going to be perceiving you this month? Whoa. <laughs> um, there, it's, because you're going to be a little bit more assertive, because you're applying the lessons of your past, they're very quickly going to know if you're on the same page as them or not. So good, good for you. That's how you're going to avoid further disappointment, right? Only matching up with the right kind of people for you. Um, what can get in the way of finding love for you this month? And they just say, some of you have some shit that you're not over yet. Some lessons that you haven't entirely worked through. Some of you are currently like in this learning or growth cycle. And it's about, um, you know, 
moving on from something that you invo invested a lot of emotional attachment to in the past. So this could be a person. It could also be a belief system, right? So I just want to give an example. Um, I one day had um, like just I was folding laundry and spirit said to me, hey, um, tell your friend like she can't she has to stop saying she's a single mother. And the reason why was because in trying to attract love, she's kind of like putting a block up, a wall up. Because when you're affirming constantly to the universe and to other people that you're a single mother, that means that somebody's not going to come in and be like amazing stepdad, right? And so if that's something that you want, you got to quit using that language, right? Or you have to stop that belief system that you have. Like, so maybe it served you well for a while. Like, okay, I'm super independent. I can handle all this shit on my own. Like, I don't need like a man to like know my worth. Okay, so that's good. That's preparing me for love. But now the next step in that is moving away from that, taking the lessons and the confidence that came with it. And now saying, okay, I'm ready for love. I'm ready for somebody to come in and not fix my life, but be like the icing on the cake of my life that is amazing. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, what is the best course of action for you in order to try and manifest or um, find long-lasting love this month? They say keep doing what you're doing because it's pretty non-dramatic. This month might be an easy month for you. However, it's... Um, not necessarily like the luckiest of months in order to attract somebody, but it's also not the most unlucky either, if that makes sense. So just keep doing what you're doing. Further advice is make sure that your sleep is good, that you're getting enough sleep, that you're chilling out, you're spending enough time like relaxing for yourself so you can clear your mind. Our angels heal us when we're sleeping and that the quality of your sleep is good too. Um, they're saying if you don't do that, um, it will be very, very challenging for you to be successful in finding love this month. And it's not going to be your choice. It's, and you're probably pretty aware of that, right? Now, why is it not successful if you're not getting enough rest? And they're saying because it makes it impossible to fully invest in somebody. And it's not that like you'd be worrying or having anxiety about what's next and how to meet this person or how to find them or anything like that. But it's just like when you're communicating with new people, um, you'll be communicating with people who are immature for one reason or another because that healing process hasn't happened as you've slept. Okay, so that's single Libras. Now moving on to coupled Libras. What elements of the past are affecting your relationship now? And they're saying um, communicating with people who were either misleading you, deceiving you, they lied to you, and now that's kind of like biting them in the butt, okay? I want you to notice here, um, he thinks he's getting away with something, right? So maybe there's been infidelity or a lack of trust, like the um, trust has been destroyed in your relationship, and it could be you that did it, or it could be your partner. But for whatever reason, um, and it could even be a past partner, not the current one. But at some point, some sort of like betrayal where they thought they were going to get away with something, um, you see how it, like eventually it's going to cut their hands because the the top of the swords up here, the handle... <laughs> He's going to hurt himself, right? Um, so anyway, this is like a karmic thing. Like karma is affecting your current wish now. So if you were really one of those people who put a lot of faith and um, love into a relationship and they betrayed you anyway, now whether you're with that person or you're not, um, that karma is likely to start hitting them if it didn't immediately, okay? But, um, you know, your good karma will also pay off. And that's what they're saying now. So those past lessons will benefit you now. Karmically, if you were like, you took the high road, awesome. Because benefits are going to come for you in your love life. Now, if you were the person who um, was kind of a player with somebody else, you misled them, you told them the relationship was, you know, exclusive and it wasn't or something like that, um, you might experience, you know, a less than favorable outcome uh, this month in, in your relationship. So anyway, what is it that you want in the month of May in your relationship? And they're saying it's not so much like, 
you want a partner who's like super fun and super confident or you want your your partner to be that way. You just want to work through the challenges of like how to get things progressing or moving in a certain direction. It's not like you're asking them to be more, um, to show you more certainty, like in um, how they feel about you or anything like that. You might feel very secure in that. It's just about like the physical manifestation of achieving goals. So, um, hey, I just want to get the show on the road. I want to get married. I want to get pregnant, you know, or hey, I want to buy a house together. Hey, I really want to start saving for retirement. Um, I want to move in together. Like, I want to make this Facebook official. Whatever it is for you, like taking it to the next level, it's um, sort of challenging this month. Why is it challenging? Um, because the emotional aspect as to why you want this thing is sort of lacking. So with law of attraction, that's how it works. You have to radiate love for the things that you desire so that you get them quickly. It's more mental than heartfelt. Like, okay, it's logical that, you know, we've been married for three years now. I want to get pregnant. Um, but it's not like, hey, I just, I really would love a baby. Okay. So they're saying, um, be really honest with yourself and assert, like, and and try to figure out why it is that you want what you want so you can start heading in that correct direction very quickly. Put the emotion behind it, essentially, is the workaround for that. Um, what can you expect in the month of May in your relationship? And they're saying um, that's, again, the problem. Like, maybe you're just not being assertive and, and direct, like, from a heartfelt place. You might be a little bit confused about what you want. You just kind of, it's not like your relationship is one that you're thinking about leaving or anything, but it's just not as stable or as secure or as organized as you would like it to be. Hence, the challenges with the goals of taking things, you know, to a certain next level or achieving things as a couple. Uh, what factors will be influencing your love life in May? And they're saying there's a little bit of dishonesty going on here, um, but it's not like a thing that happens all the time. It's like a one-time thing in May. Now, this could be a big thing or it could be a little thing, but it's not like a toxic, abusive, like repetitive situation that happens. Um, how are other people going to be perceiving you or how is your partner perceiving you and it says like you're willing to face these challenges to think about it to be very logical to talk about these things however um like the actual doing hasn't started yet <laughs> that these are more like conceptual things or like maybe like money is a problem so it's like okay let's make all these plans and then when we have the money we'll do this where really you want to be kind of thinking as a team about how you can start that path now you know that's where these challenges are coming in um what can get in the way of increasing your love for each other this month? And they're saying um, it definitely could be like kind of stuffing your emotions, sitting with those, and then not having enough fun with one another. And so kind of like I said, like you're not necessarily needing um, your partner to show you like how fun they are and how confident they are in this relationship and how much they love you and things like that. Um, you're kind of embracing this energy of like, patience and just like waiting and seeing how things are going to go um but be, because things really are secure but i think for your partner's sake it's going to be important for you to make an effort to make things really fun for them okay um what is the best course of action or what's the advice for you in regards to your coupled relationship this month and they're like, any big financial decisions, it's not a good time to make them because you will not love the outcome, okay? It's not a good time to um, sell your house and move into another one. It's not necessarily a good time to buy a new house. It's not a good time to start a new job across the country, okay? Um, what will happen if you listen to this advice? They're saying even though it's what you think you want and you're going to feel like, okay, I'm not taking the steps that I need in order to co-create the reality that I desire. They're saying, um, like, so you might feel a little bit unstable for a minute. Like, the beginning of May to the end of May much might feel much the same for you in your relationship, but you're not going to drive yourself crazy, okay? Now, they're saying the reason why is because whatever this is, is it's a bad move. So you have... 
you know, maybe you're thinking like, hey, I need a change. But they're like, can you wait until June, please? Because this is, it's just not the right thing for you. If you wait, something better will happen. And like the stress of making the wrong decision is really going to affect you in months moving forward, June, July, August, um, in your relationship. Okay. Uh, so if you ignore the advice, they're like, well, that was a bad decision. They're kind of laughing about it. They're saying, um, well, it'll just be one of those things that, one of those lessons that you have to learn, you know? But they're like, it's not like your partner is going to leave the relationship or abandon you because you make a mistake. But um, there will be some negative communication here. Your partner might perceive you as selfish, especially if they disagree with it, or um, rash, making decisions based on emotions instead of logic, which totally isn't what you do. You just didn't know that this wasn't going to pan out the right way. Um, ultimately, you're going to come to a place of financial like security. Like You might not be a billionaire, but you'll kind of get your shit in order. It's just going to take you longer if you don't listen to this guidance. Um, so I know that this is a love reading, but uh, it seems like money and planning and, you know, like big purchases like homes and cars really could affect your relationships this month. So if you can wait it out until June or July, um, it would have less of a negative impact for you. So that's your love reading. And um, I look forward to doing your general reading for me. Bye. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20 minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!